Good afternoon and all. This is an medicine ATM. We named it as med uh, Health Hub ATM. When you are in emergencies or imagine that your loved ones need a medication in an emergency and the pharmacy is far away, then this is a life saver. This can be available 24-7. First, we have to put the prescription over here. It will be scanned. Then it shows that the prescription is scanning. After that, we have to put the ATM card for the payment. Uh, it will be scanned. Then we have to enter the pin over here. Then the eight prescription is scanned over here and the drugs can be dispensed from here after putting the AT pin. Then if you don't have any, any prescription in emergency, you can scan this QR code and you will be directly connected to a doctor. Thank you. Good morning, sir. I am Sabah Fatima and let me introduce to my teammates uh, Kulsum Fatima and uh, Zara Mehmood Khan. We are from B Pharmacy second year. So uh, we are grateful and uh, delightful to be a part of this incredible college with incredible principal and incredible faculty over here uh, so that uh, we came to learn many meaningful, we g made uh, many meaningful contributions and uh, we learned many things over here and that hel help us to achieve uh, our pharma aspirations. So today uh, we want to delve into a topic that has uh, that affects millions of people uh, worldwide, the devastating impact of smoking on lungs. So I'll show you the working. As we light the cigarette, the smoke fills in the container and the cotton balls changes from white to brown. Effects of smoking can be COPD, co chronic bron bronchitis, uh, malignant tumors, banning and many uh, types of cancers. It uh, decreases lung function and uh, it also uh, decreases uh, expiratory inspiratory volume. So there are many adverse effects uh, due to smoking. It's a learning and uh, a motive that has been uh, delivered through this project. Thank you for listening patient. Due to one cigarette, this is the effect. The cotton ball changed, uh, turned into brown. Just due to one cigarette. So over the years, uh, the people who smoke uh, regularly, so they'll have uh, various devastating effect, lung issues, chronic bronchitis diseases. Good morning. My name is uh, Aisha Sajid. I'm from Duncan School of Pharmacy, PharmD fourth year. My topic today is awareness on diabetic retinopathy. So it's a condition in which it's a complication of diabetes in which retinal damage takes place that eventually uh, leads to visual loss, visual loss. So here's the model of eye in which we are demonstrating about retinal damage. So uh, the blood vessels are damaged that leads to hemorrhages and uh, cotton plugs that it's nothing but fluid exudates. So here's the transmission of optic signal that is from the eye to the brain. It's uh, all abrupt so it's leading to vision loss that is nothing but this vision. It is blurred and uh, the vision is all blackened and blurred. Black spots appears on the vision. So mostly the risk factors are severity of the diabetes, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, so obesity. It's more prominent in the males and, than females and even it's a complication of uh, pregnancy. So mostly it is managed by hypoglycemia, uh, like controlling glucose levels and even controlling all comorbid conditions like hypertension and everything. Uh, surgical prophylaxis can be laser treatment, vitrectomy and uh, treatment can be VEGF inhibitors and everything that uh, is uh, used to like treat this disease. I am from, we are from Sarojini Naidu Vanita Pharmacy Mahavidyalaya. So we are PharmD 4th years. We are going to demonstrate a pharma working model on the liposomal formation, doxorubicin formation and its mechanism of action. So this is about the liposome formation and this is the doxorubicin mechanism of action and it is a 3D liposome structure. So 
first i'll explain you about the liposome formation so when organic solvent and lipid is fused after keeping in the rota evaporate it forms a thin lipid like uh, lipid film when it is kept uh, on on hydration it forms a swelling and it forms the layers multilamellar vesicles also formed here on hydration so after forming the multilamellar vesicles on keeping into the sonicator we used probe sonicator it forms single lamellar vesicle and large unicellular vesicles so after forming we formed a liposome so we load here and after that we will load the drug and we'll inject both drug and the liposome will be mixed so after mixing will uh, this is called remote loading mechanism so 3d liposome is formed so the liposome has a hydrophilic and hydrophobic nature so hydrophilic head and hydrophobic tail so hydrophilic uh, drugs can be loaded and hydrophobic drugs also can be loaded as doxorubicin is hydrophilic in nature hydrophobic drug is uh, loaded in the aqueous part of the liposome so this is one of the advantage of the liposome and coming to the mechanism of action of doxorubicin doxorubicin is given in the iv form so when it enters it uh, reaches the tumor cells as it is uh, has leaky membrane and highly vasculature it targets the tumor cell so it is a liposomal and doxorubicin drug so it is as it is uh, fused with the membrane it is similar to biological membrane so doxorubicin slowly enters into the cellular membrane so when doxorubicin enter it has four mechanisms so doxorubicin when it is released it acts on the mitochondria and mitochondria mitochondria releases cytochrome c cytochrome c activates this cascade pathway and it leads to cell apoptosis and doxorubicin binds to the topoisomerase enzyme topoisomerase enzyme helps in the negative supercoiling of the dna during replication so when drug binds to the topoisomerase supercoiling occur supercoiling of the dna occurs so further dna synthesis doesn't occur so this is a nuclear membrane and it has intercalation method doxorubicin when enters it it uh, reacts with the enzymes so enzymes so it forms a metabolite that will lead to an intercalate between the two dna strands so it forms like this so dna become non functional so this is the uh, blood vessel and here we took the hepatic carcinoma so tumor size will be reduced after entering into the drug so advantages so we took the novel drug delivery because while treating the cancer cell normal cell will be will be affected more rapidly so we took conventional so it targets only tumor tissue as it is highly uh, uh, it targets only tumors because uh, ta- uh, it size is very low and we students from snvpmv sarojini naidu vanita pharmacy mahavidyalaya and myself tejeshri and my teammates are shrija and shailaja we are explaining the ras mechanism that is renin angiotensin aldosterone system uh, which in which also gives information about the ac inhibitors and here the ras system is activated when there is a decreased in cardiac output decreased cardiac output decreases the blood flow the decreased blood flow leads to the decreased gfr where in the kidneys the glomeruli has the specialized cells called as juxta glomerular cells these cells get activated and this activated juxta glomerular cells releases renin into the blood circulation and the released blood uh, renin into the circulation reaches the liver where angiotensinogen gets converted to angiotensin 1 but it is in, in inactive form this activated renin this is active inactive fo- form of angiotensin 1 reaches the circulation into the lungs to get act, to convert into its active form with the this activation is aided with the help of ac enzyme angiotensin converting enzyme in the lungs and it is ac enzyme is rich in lungs due to its capillary high rich capillary network and this active angiotensin 2 in angiotensin 2 activates the adrenal gland for the release of aldosterone this activated aldosterone releases uh, acts for uh, the stimulation of adh vasodilation and thirst centers and this leads to the vasoconstriction as vasoconstriction occurs bp is elevated and this for this condition we have a specialized first line drugs called ac inhibitors and this ac inhibitors actively inhibit the ac enzyme in the lungs where the angiotensin 1 and en- is not converted to angiotensin 2 due to the inactivation of angiotensin 2 there is no activation of aldosterone and this leads to vasodilation and this vasodilation leads to the decrease in the blood pressure thank you